Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Autograph Diaries 2019. Let's just get straight on with the video and find out what autographs I got this week. I hope you enjoy. Today is Tuesday the 19th of February and today I received one envelope of autographs in the post. As you can see it's dated August 2018 and I've got no idea who it's from so let's find out. Let's have a look. It is, oh my god finally, it's Lucy Jones. Cool. To Daniel, lots of love, Lucy. Thank you, Lucy. And to Daniel, love, Lucy. Cool. I'm very happy with these. I actually met Lucy Jones last year and I didn't get an autograph. I only got a selfie, which I'll include on screen. I was very lucky enough to go and see her at the Free Curve Theatre 10th anniversary concert, where I got to sit on stage and I was metres away from Lucy. And then afterwards, we had a lovely chat and a selfie. But I didn't get an autograph because I didn't take anything with me to get signed. But anyway, I'm very happy to finally have her autograph in my collection. I absolutely love her. I think she's fucking amazing. I've loved her since The X Factor. She's such an amazing talent. She's beautiful. She's got the most amazing voice. And I just love her so much. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. TTM success from Lucy Jones. Thank you, Lucy. Today is Wednesday the 20th of February and today I received two envelopes in the post. I've opened both of them off camera because both of them had return addresses on the back so I thought why not just open them off camera and show you what I got instead. Now the first one is a TTM success from America from wrestler Finn Balor. Now you may be wondering why the fuck I've got a wrestler's autograph. Same to be honest. I don't have any interest whatsoever in wrestling at all. But the reason I sent it is because I think Finn is fit as fuck and yeah Mark's gonna kill me. But yeah, Finn signed four photos for me. This one here, which you can't really see signed properly. He signed a bit, there you go, dark on dark, right over his penis. You naughty boy, Finn. So that one. Then we have this one here, which, let's be honest, I'm in love with. I'm in love with. Don't even care. Then I have this one here. And this one here. Now, because I have zero interest in wrestling whatsoever, both of these will be on eBay for sale. So if anyone's interested, then go and check out my eBay page. The link to my eBay is always in the description box of every video I do. So yeah, these two will be on eBay. I am keeping these two though, because like I said, he looks fit as fuck and I get to look at his dick. So yeah, TTM success from Finn Balor. And thank you once again to Mark of Mark's Oshcraft Collection for helping me write the letter. As you know, I had to bullshit the fucking thing because let's be honest, I'm not a wrestling fan whatsoever. I just wanted an autograph because he's fit as fuck. Don't even care. And the second envelope I received contained a bundle of nine cast cards that I purchased on eBay. All of them are signed. I have three Emmerdale and six EastEnders. I am actually going to be selling three EastEnders and one Emmerdale, so I'll let you know which ones. So the EastEnders ones first. I have Linda Henry, who plays Shirley Carter. Best wishes, love Linda Henry. I will be selling this one. I do have this one already. Then I have Cliff Parisi, who played Minty Peterson. Again, I will be selling this one. I do have this one already. Then I have Jake Wood, who plays Max Brennan. I will be selling this one. I do have this one. So those are the three EastEnders ones that I'm selling. I am keeping this one here of Ricky Groves, who played Gary Hobbs. As well as this one here of Ricky Grover, who played Andrew Cotton. And I'm also keeping this one here of Priya Kaladas, who played Amira Masood. So yeah. Those are the EastEnders cast cards. Like I said, I will be selling these three. So if you're interested, head over to my eBay page. And then also in the bundle, I received three Emmerdale cast cards. This one here of Duncan Preston, who plays Doug Parks. My very best wishes, Duncan Preston. This one here of Chris Chittle, who plays Eric Pollard. All the very best to you, Chris Chittle. And then this one here of John Middleton, who played Ashley Thomas, which I will be selling because I do have this. Best wishes, John Middleton. So yeah, a bundle of nine signed cast cards that I purchased on eBay. Like I said, I am selling this one and these three. So if you're interested, head over to my eBay page where you can also find these two from Finn Balor. So yeah, a very successful mail day. Today is Thursday the 21st of February and today I received one envelope of autographs in the post, which I've opened off camera, so I apologise for that. But it's an incredible TTM success from actress Louisa Lytton, who I know best for playing Ruby Allen, who is my favourite ever EastEnders character. Louisa signed one photo for me that I sent to her, this one here. Daniel, thanks for your letter, love Louisa Lytton. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. And she also sent me one of her brand new cast cards as well. And I absolutely love it. I'm so happy with this. I love the photo. I love that Ruby's back. She's 
Oh, she's amazing. I love her so much. And yeah, I'm very happy to add Louisa to my collection again. She's such an amazing actress. And yeah, very, very happy. Louisa Litton. Thank you, Louisa. Today is Friday the 22nd of February, and today I received three envelopes of autographs in the post. The first envelope I opened contained an email success from The Chasers from the TV show The Chase. They sent me this group signed photo, signed by Mark Levette, aka The Beast, Sean Wallace, Paul Sinner, Anne Hegarty, and Jenny Ryan. It isn't signed by Bradley Welsh, despite the letter that came with it, saying that it bloody is. Pretty sure it is not. But yeah, I'm very happy with this. I love The Chase. The Chase is one of my favourite quiz shows. I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I do have autographs from a few of them individually, including Bradley, but I'm very happy to get this group signed photo. So yeah, very, very happy with this. The Chasers. The second envelope I received today contained another via venue success from actor Danny Dyer, who this time signed this EastEnders cast card for me. Daniel, love always, Danny Dyer. I do have this already, but you know what? I love Danny Dyer. I couldn't resist sending again. As well as this, Danny also signed and personalised two photos that I sent to him. This one here, previously signed by his on-screen wife, Kelly Bright. Signed, Daniel, love always, Danny Dyer. So it's now signed by Kelly Bright and Danny Dyer, Mick and Linda. And then he also added a signature to this photo, signed by Harry Reid and Lacey Turner. As you can see, Daniel, Danny Dyer. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. I absolutely love Danny. I think he's brilliant. And I'm very happy to get this one dual signed. And another autograph to this one. So yeah. A via venue success from Danny Dyer, and unfortunately, by the time this video goes out, the address will no longer be valid. So yeah, Danny Dyer. And the final envelope I received contained a bundle of autographs that I purchased on eBay. Now, I have no idea how many autographs are in the bundle, so I'm just going to show you what they are. I will be selling a few of them, I will let you know which ones I'm selling. So the first one is this EastEnders cast card, signed by Lacey Turner. I am selling this one, because I do have this one already. Then I have this casualty cast card, signed by actor Alex Walkinshaw. I am keeping this one because I absolutely loved Alex in the bill. Even though I don't watch casualty, I still want his autograph, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Then I have a Coronation Street cast card, signed by the late great Maggie Jones, who played Blanche Hunt. I am keeping this one as well. Then I have another Coronation Street cast card, this time signed by Keith Duffy. I don't actually know if I've got this one already, so I'll have to double check. So this one might be for sale, I'm not yet sure. But if I don't have it, of course I will be keeping it. Then I have another Coronation Street cast card, signed by actor Ian Poulston Davis, who played Owen in the show. Then I have another EastEnders cast card, signed by actress Maisie Smith, who plays Tiffany in the show. Then I have this pre-printed photo of actor Robert Pattinson, obviously best known for playing Edward Cullen in Twilight and Cedric Diggory in Harry Potter. I will be keeping that one because I'm putting it in my Harry Potter folder, even though it is a preprint. Then I have Dermot O'Leary, which I am selling because I do have that one already. Followed by this guy from Primeval, who I don't actually remember. I don't remember his name. So if anyone recognises him, please tell me, because I have no idea. But I am selling that one, although this one does have a note to someone called Kelly on the back. So if you are interested in buying this... Oh, Ben Mansfield, it tells you in the corner. Thank you very much, Daniel, for turning it over. But yeah, like I was saying, if you are interested in buying this one, it does have this note on the back. So yeah, Ben Mansfield. Then I have Caroline Flack, which again, I am selling, because I do have that one already. Followed by this photo here, signed by Emma Rigby from Hollyoaks. Don't watch Hollyoaks, so that one is also for sale. Then I have this card signed by Fern Cotton, which is for sale, because I do have that one already. And the last one in the bundle I am keeping, it's this one here, of Dan Whiston. So yeah, a bundle of a million autographs that I purchased on eBay. Like I said, I will be selling a few of them, so if you're interested in buying them, please head over to my eBay page. They will be listed individually though. As well as this, I also received a via venue from Danny Dyer and an email success from the cast of The Chase. What an amazing mail day. Today is Saturday the 23rd of February, and today I received two envelopes of autographs in the post. The first one is a TTM success from actor Noel Clark, who I know I've got a million autographs from now, but I couldn't resist sending again. This time around, Noel signed four photos for me. This one here, Noel Clark. This one here of him with Camille Kadori, Noel Clark. And then two photos that were previously signed by Camille Kadori. This one here, I did just there. And this one just here. I'm very happy with this. Of course, Noel plays Mickey Smith in Doctor Who. And like I said, I do have his autograph a few times now. I've received three replies from him in the last month. And to be honest with you, I am gonna send again. 
So if you've got a problem with that, kindly fucking shut up because I don't give a shit. But yeah, TTM success from Noel Clark. Thank you, Noel. And the second envelope I received today contained another TTM success, this time from actor Roger Ashton Griffiths, who is a new addition to my collection. I waited since July 2018 for this. Roger signed this Doctor Who photo for me. To Daniel with best wishes, Roger Ashton Griffiths. He plays Quayle, but I don't remember what episode he's in. But yeah, I decided to write to Roger because I could have met him at MCON last year, but I chose not to because I didn't have enough money at the time. And priorities, I spent it all on people that are more relevant, let's be honest. But yeah, I thought I'd send him a photo and get an autograph for my collection anyway. So he signed this Doctor Who photo for me, as well as this Game of Thrones photo, where he plays Mace Tyrell. I've never seen Game of Thrones in my life, so I might sell this one. So yeah, TTM success from Roger Ashton Griffiths. Thank you, Roger. And those are all of the autographs that I received this week. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next week with episode 9. Bye, guys.